everybody welcome back to another victor dawson video now we're going to be doing something different today we're going to do a movie review well i'm going to do a movie review for you guys instead of doing reactions like i normally do i'm trying to switch it up because um i love movies so much that i figured why not share my opinion and my thoughts on a movie and hopefully that help you either go watch it or just help you talk about it we're going to talk about black panther black panther first and foremost let's just give black panther a round of applause because this movie literally just broke barriers it um it brought up topics that we need to talk about as a community as a world in general and i'm just so happy that this movie came out when it did february on black history month and the all black cast and the all black and like the first black superhero to have his own standalone movie it's just amazing to see this go down and we're just, i'm gonna go into every little nick and cranny that i feel like i want to share with you about black panther so i can give you a better outline to go see it so the whole synopsis with this movie like the whole plot was t'challa who is black panther he um his father died in Captain America Civil War when they had this whole UN, um, this whole nation's meeting. His father died, and then T'Challa is backpacking right off of that. T'Challa's going back to their country in Wakanda, and he's trying to take his rightful place as king because his dad was king and he died and he's the oldest son so he's trying to take his rightful place as king then he get a whole bunch of wrenches thrown in the mix to prevent him from becoming king and we're going to just go down into that now first let's just get into this cast like let's just go over the cast list because this cast was just amazing like this beautiful uh, cast everybody's so talented it's just amazing anyway Chadwick Boseman, we're going to start off with him, main star, T'Challa, hashtag Black Panther. He has been in 42, I believe he has been in Antoine Fisher, and the list goes on and on from there. This man literally is amazing at his craft. He his The versatility of his acting, I look up to. And that's just amazing, all the work that he's in. Um, then we go to Michael B. Jordan, and his character is Eric Killmonger. He is the villain. Eric Killmonger's character Eric Eric Killmonger is the first villain I actually felt bad for. Um, but Michael B. Jordan, he's been in things like um, Michael B. Jordan. I I grew up watching all of his stuff. Um, Friday Night Lights, um, Fantastic Four, that awkward moment, and we cannot forget about Creed. And speaking of Creed, I think he's about to shoot Creed two in April, and I think it comes out in freaking November. Like they are pushing these movies out. He's becoming more A-list more and more each day. Then we have the beautiful, talented, sexy, smart Lupita Nyong'o. Like, this woman is the definition of melanin beauty. This woman is so beautiful. Her character is Nakia. She is the love interest of T'Challa. Um, so that is just beautiful to see two good old two good old black folks falling in love y'all that is just amazing um then we go to the next character denia Gur guerrera i hope i say that right i'm gonna learn it and then i'm so sorry if i said it wrong her character's name is akawi akoyi something like that i believe she was the general i believe she was that bad bitch that was sitting there fighting everybody with that damn spear like that that was my bitch. She was one of my favorite characters. Then we have Daniel Kaluuya. He's been in Get Out. This man has already broke barriers with Get Out and Jordan Peele's whole take on that. It was just... Oh, that movie was breaking lots of barriers. And then we go down to Martin Freeman. Um, he was um, one of the few white people in it. That's okay. They can come on board too. Um, he, I think he played like an agent helping them out. Then his character's name was um, Agent Ross, I believe. Then we go to Letitia Wright. I think I said that name right. She was Shuri or Shuri, however you pronounce that. She was T'Challa's sister, his little baby sister. And she was like the the technical genius of everything. Like she did everything tech wise in Wakanda because Wakanda will get into the storyline anyway. Let me keep going with this beautiful cast list. Then we got Winston Duke. Um, his character was M'Baku. He threw a couple wrenches in there. Sterling K. Brown from This Is Us. First of all, Sterling K. Brown from This Is Us. This Is Us. If you don't know that show, get into it. That show will literally have you crying each and every day. Angela Bassett. 
Angela Bassett, you guys, was in this movie. The beautiful Angela Bassett. And now she's currently on a show called 911, and y'all need to check that out as well. She is doing the damn thing. Forrest Whitaker, you guys, I'm telling you, this list gets better and better. Forrest Whitaker in the, is in this guy. It's beautiful. And then Andy Serkis, and it just goes on and on from there. And it's just amazing. So, anyway, through in the beginning of the movie, um, we're learning more and more about T'Challa and his father and their whole relationship. And then it goes right into T'Challa heading back home to become the king of Wakanda and do this whole big ceremony or whatnot. Well, he runs into the ranch. He, he has to go pick up the love of his life, his ex, um, Nakia, played by Lupita Nyong'o. He picks her up and he has to bring her back to Wakanda because he wants everybody that he loves back there. He gets there and he's about to become king and then somebody wanted to challenge him. Um, what's his name? I gotta remember his name. Winston Duke's character in Baku. He wanted to challenge him because he thinks that he should be the king of Wakanda because he has his own personal views and he basically just a little, little salty. But anyway, he throws his wrench at it. T'Challa whoops his ass. Um, got that got that man to tap out and he's gone and then T'Challa becomes king well T'Challa was only king for a hot five minutes like he he gets introduced to Michael B. Jordan's character Killmonger and um Killmonger throws wrenches in that well while he's trying while he's king for the hot five minutes he goes with his ex-girlfriend and his right hand man um, was actually woman Okoye. I keep from messing the name up. He goes. They try to go and find this whole Claw dude because Claw. Yeah, his name Claw. This Claw villain. If you don't know about the Claw villain, he was in the recent Avengers. He stole vibranium from them, and they mad at him because he did something else to them in Black um, in Wakanda, and they trying to get their revenge. They trying to get him. They trying to bring him back to Wakanda so he can you know pay his dues and what he did to them and he they go to this little clubhouse they find him they fight my bitch take her wig off because she just that bitch and they do all this um the amazing car chasing y'all need to get into it the sister comes and helps with the car chasing it was just amazing this movie the color the action was just great the technology that we've seen is just great so anyway they didn't get a hold to him. They chase him and chase him and chase him. They, get, they didn't get a hold to him. They come back to Wakanda without him. Everybody's kind of a little upset that he didn't bring him. Then Michael B. Jordan's character just pushed through in the movie. And Eric Killmonger comes in. And basically he is T'Challa's cousin. Um, T'Challa's dad. The king killed his dad because... Eric Killmonger's dad stole some vibranium. So, um, T'Challa's dad was like, well, you got to die. And then he died, but he didn't bring Eric Killmonger back to Wakanda. He left him there when he was a little boy. So, Eric Killmonger had to sit there and stay down there while... not. Why well, I keep saying down there, well, over here, while they in Wakanda living it up. So, he wanted to get back to Wakanda and take his rightful place in Wakanda. And you know what? I'm not mad at that. Like, the boy wanted to come back to the man, wanted to come back to Wakanda and be king because he mad that y'all just dropped him like a bad habit. So, anyway, he finally gets his way back to Wakanda after killing Claw. Claw, because Claw did. Claw died after Eric Killmonger snatched him up and kidnapped him and then killed his ass and got his ass right up there to Wakanda. Like, that was, that whole situation was good. The action scenes, I can't get into each little action scene because it was very, very good. The choreography of the action was good. Anyway, we're up to Eric Killmonger up in, up in Wakanda trying to F up the place. Um, he challenges Black Panther to become king as he rightfully should because he never got his shot at it. Um, nobody in the family knew what was going on about the dad killing the other, killing his brother, which was effed up regardless. Like, he could at least brought, in my opinion, he could at least brought Eric Killmonger back up there with him and then just lied to him about the death. And then he found out about the lie later 
later but no he killed his ass then left the son there and the son is pissed so everybody figured out that he is his cousin and he does this battle he won he whooped his ass um Po T'Challa, Po Black Panther, I guess fighting one up that night, but he tore off in that ass, and then he becomes king. Well, while he becomes king, he's trying to literally F everything up. He's trying to give the vibranium off to everyone in the States. He's trying to let everyone know about this, because Wakanda is secret right now. Like, well, everybody know there's Wakanda, but they think Wakanda is just a dead desert city, but Wakanda is really this thriving, beautiful city um that is basically running off vibranium which is this real like one of the strongest metals in the world and this metal can do wonders for every every little thing so they basically built this city over this vibranium and they have a multi a whole bunch of access to this so they don't want to sh share their resources yet because they are scared that if the whole world knows about this it will mess up the entire city of wakanda and anyway he eric killmonger wants all the vibranium to be shared throughout everyone so they can use it he want to just go in this whole territory and run it and destroy it basically and so he's trying to do that well when he battled t'challa he dropped his ass like a bad habit like i said and threw him off the river everybody thought he was dead but clearly you know the main guests don't really the main star don't really die um his mother angela bassett and his sister they all and the girlfriend the ex-girlfriend they all show up and they all find him and then they get him back bring him back to his roots he do a little lion king moment with his daddy lion king first of all if y'all watch this movie and or if y'all have already seen it did you not get Lion King vibes throughout this movie? If I did, I wish Akuna Matata would have came on the damn soundtrack because damn, I got Lion King vibes. Every time him and Eric Killmonger went to go see their daddy in that sand, I was getting a whole bunch of Lion King vibes. I was like, look at Simba. Anyway, he was talking about, um, he was having a moment with his dad because once you become king you go in this little sand pit and you get reunited with your father and um t'challa had that moment when he became king and he was getting advice from his dad then killmonger had that moment with his dad because his dad was still his dad was still being like a little rude he was dad being a little rude to him still being a little mean we got a little soft side in eric killmonger anyway eric killmonger wants to destroy everything basically in wakanda that he can and not destroy but like take advantage of i'll say and the powers that make you black panther like this magical purple herb or whatever um he wanted to burn that all because he wanted to be the only king but you know our girl stole some i forgot who it was i want to say it was either the sister or the ex-girlfriend they stole some for t'challa because they they was just gonna find some later find him later i guess they knew they were just gonna find him man anyway they find him he comes back to try right before um michael b jordan's character eric killmonger goes sends off all this vibranium to everybody so they can like i guess make weapons out of it and stuff and or he was sending weapons it was something like that don't check me on my story because i'm not official like reporter i'm just doing this because i want to share my thoughts with you off t'challa came in he came back he was like surprise surprise i'm here and they got the fight in and uh, um, what's her name's character? O I Okoye, Okoye, whatever her name is, the general. She had kind of switched sides for a minute because she was like, she gonna still stay true to whoever the king is. So when Eric Killmonger became king, she was like, I'm still gonna be his right hand man because that is my duty. Well, she was fighting Black Panther and her team. Yeah, first of all, her team is those bitches. Like that when her team pull up, you don't try to fight them. You just bow down and let them do them. Anyway, they were fighting, and then she realized she was fighting for the wrong side, and she got back in her senses and started fighting um, Eric Killmonger, and long story short, Eric Killmonger loses in defeat, um, and then Black Panther, him and Black Panther get into this beautiful choreographed fight at the end, and Black Panther whoop off in that ass and stabs him but what got me was black panther wanted to bring him back it, black panther was like we have the resources and the technology to bring you back but eric kim i going hearing that shit he was like look i'd rather die just going to kill me now and throw me out to the seas i don't want you to try to 
fix me after you already tore off in my ass because then I got to sit there and be in jail. Like, he didn't want to do all that. He just wanted to die. So he went on grab that knife, stabbed himself even more. It was just, and everything in between was just amazing. Like, the fight scenes were beautifully choreographed, like I said before. Um, the costumes were beautiful, colorful, just bright. It was just uh, amazing. And the plot was just... You, you resonated with both characters. You resonated with T'Challa trying to become king as his rightful place and do the right thing because his father did a couple of things that he wasn't supposed to be doing. And then um, you resonate with Eric Killmonger because he is just trying to get back to his roots. He just want to know his... I, I, he just want to know where he's from, I guess, because I guess he never was up in there like that. I guess he was never up in Wakanda like that. I guess him and his dad were just down there in that other city doing what they do because I think his dad was like being a secret agent or something for Wakanda. I don't know. It was a whole bunch of whole lot of and... It was just real good, and I really hope that y'all go see this. This is a family-friendly movie. This movie is for every age, um, and I hope little kids understand the message as well, so they can grow up to grow up to to know how to treat people. I want to say, am I reaching? I don't think I am. But it was just amazing. So I hope y'all like this little take of what I brought to you. No, first, no, no, no. Let's go on this this soundtrack. Let me just say the soundtrack was amazing. Kendrick Lamar did his damn thing. Like that soundtrack was beautifully crafted. And go see it. The movie's already in theaters. Go check it out. It's being sold out everywhere. So get your seats early. And thank you so much, you guys, for watching this with me. Hopefully, you got some type of take of Black Panther from me. I know it was kind of all over the place. Maybe later on in life, I'll have it together and more grouped. But for now, this is what you get, and I hope you like it. Please make sure to subscribe if you love this. Please subscribe. I would love to do this more for you guys. Like the video. Follow me on my Instagram at Victor A. Dawson. I would love to share thoughts and comments and posts with you guys. And I will talk to you guys later.